uh, first game over doubleheader here on TNT. Um, so you were all excited about talking about this game on which side, Miami or Dallas? Dallas. Ernie, and Ken and Shaq can agree or disagree. The Mavericks frustrate me so much because they should be so much better. You know, we make a big deal out of Luca's numbers. His numbers should be going down. When you play with better players, when you're a great player, the better players you play with, your numbers should go down. He's got to do a much better job of getting rid of the ball, using those other guys. And he they're playing the same way they played when they didn't have any talent. They got PJ Washington and and, and uh, Daniel Gafford and, Dan and Gafford. But Luca, as great as he is, he's got to learn to play without the basketball. Ernie, when you play, and Shaq, Shaq would know this better, and Kenny knows this also. When you play with better players as a great player, the game should be easier, not harder. Your numbers should go down, not up. And his numbers are going up. That's why they're not winning. So, uh, Kenny, he said you could agree or you could disagree. Which are you going with? I would agree uh, that the numbers should go down in the, in the sense that or they should be easier. They should be, it could be easier. I, I would say this. My, I was blessed to play with the, one of the greatest players ever played with, Akeem Olajuwon. I averaged 17 points in Sacramento. I got to Houston, I averaged 17.8, but it was the easiest 17.8 that I ever averaged in my life. It was, it was so easy because he creates so much attention and diversion that the guys have to guard you singularly or they have to leave you. I don't know if, I don't know if it's his numbers would go down, Chuck, but I don't know if his baskets are getting easier. They're not getting easier. Because he's not, they're <clears throat> not utilizing playing off people. So I would agree that they're not getting easier baskets. He's still getting the same amount, but it's not easier. Agree or disagree? I disagree, and I'll explain in a moment. Uh, Kyrie and Luca, they both have the same problems. They do what great players do, but they don't do what the greatest players do. I don't think their numbers should go down. If you're going to have your numbers like that, you should be able to do both. And it's been done. Michael Jordan numbers didn't get, get to go down when he started winning. He was, Actually, you know, they did. No, he didn't. Yes, they did go down. He was able to do both. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was the leading scorer in the league when he was winning championships. I was the leading yeah, but his numbers went down, Shaq. I was the leading scorer in the league when I did championships. So let's just say Luca's number is 30. You can still average 30 and get other people involved. That's what I'm saying. Whether his numbers went down or not, you can do both. Whatever Luca wants his number to be. My number was 28-10. I'm going to get my 28 no matter what. But Big Shot Bob is in the corner. Rick Fox is right there. Uh, you know, Brian Shaw is right there. How did you Kobe's decipher right you, there. dude? You personally. Shaq, there's, no, a, how did you Shaq, decipher? there's a big difference. The difference is people had to get you the ball. Luca has the ball. He's got to get rid of the ball more often. And He's Michael got, got rid of the ball and still no, no, no. But I'm saying it's a different thing. Like, you had, they had to give you the ball to be the great player you were. Luca starts with the ball. He's got to get off the ball. But I'm you go back and look both. at Michael Jordan. And, and they talked about that in that documentary. When well, he, he went was, from 37 to 31, I believe. He did. I, I just remember him. Because when he was averaging 37, 38 points a game, they were not winning. Uh, the league. Underdog points out Is he said his that? three highest scoring uh, seasons all before his first championship. Uh, no question. No. And, and he said that in the documentary. Because he said, when Tex Winner said to him, Michael, You've got to trust the other players. And they, that's going to pick it back on Kenny's point. If he trusts those other guys, they're going to be like, you know what? We you know he's not going to shoot. You got to be able to do both. You got to be able, you gotta be able to. Whatever. He should be getting 30, Shaq, instead of 36. Whatever your number is, you should be able to get that. But you, Chuck is right. You still got to get other people mm -hmm. involved. 35, 9, and 10 is what he is averaging. Leads the league in scoring. And in the last four games, all triple doubles. Ernie, At least 30, 30 10, points and is 10. too many. 37 points is too many. Round it up. You know, 38. You, 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 know what, you know what the other part about that? People forget. When they look at field goal attempts and they look at free throws, when you take a when you get fouled on a shot, it doesn't count as a free throw attempt. I'm mean, a field goal attempt. So you take 20 shots and you get 15 free throws, you still have taken eight more shots that are not being accounted for. And so it is a bulk of shots. So most people say, oh, he only took 22 shots or 20. No, but if you shot 15 feet throws, he probably shot 35 times because he got fouled on the other ones that they do not count as attempts. Defense has been an issue with the Mavs lately. Uh, 
one and five in their last six games, allowing at least 120 in all of those. Let's touch on uh, Miami and what the, what the Heat have going on right now, Shaq. It's uh, they stand in playoff position right now. They're a half a game ahead of Philadelphia. They're a half a game behind New York. It seems to me that they've been pacing themselves. They haven't played like they played in, in, in the postseason last year, but they're starting to get to it. Everybody's talking about playoff. Jimmy is coming. This team scares me, you know, because they, you know, the culture, we know what they can do, we know what he can do. And if everybody around Jimmy is playing well, they definitely have a shot. Right now, they're number six. They're probably, they're, they're, they're definitely going for that number four spot where Orlando is. They definitely want some type of home court advantage. So I see Miami in, in the next couple of weeks really start to turn that knob a little bit and start to get, you know, closer into playoff form. That is a fluid situation there in the East, and the best record since the All Star break belongs to. The Orlando Magic at seven and one. They're yeah, playing wow. great, but you know, Erna, we talked about it, man. Other than the Celtics, there's not a single team in the East that scares you. I mean, like, is Milwaukee scaring you a little more? Uh, well, until they got beat by a hundred, no, well, but, which snapped the which yeah. snapped the six game winning streak. <laughs> but to but come see, out I of the don't break. like I don't like when people try to break the season down. Like, well, in the last X amount of games, your track record speaks for itself. Well, maybe they figure something out. Well, especially a team like them who've yeah. got a new coach and new yeah. players. Uh, uh, listen, they and got Giannis the and Dame, and but they don't. The nobody fears them because they, they don't. Have, they, they're not. They don't have a lot of athletic ability. Uh, so no, nobody. And the Knicks don't look like they're going to get healthy. My Sixers are struggling without Joel, so the East is up for grabs. No other question. than Celtics. Yeah, Miami and Dallas. Coming up here on TNT, game one of our double dip back to wrap things up on TNT NBA tip off presented by CarMax. In Stop it, Tom Hollister. <laughs> Check the record, brother. I, I, don't have to, I don't have to speak on that one. Check the record, baby. That was him, Ty. Check the record. <laughs>